Good morning, Internet. Um, so this is kind of a personal, like, diary, I guess, or record of what I have been going through in my ulnar nerve transposition surgery. Um, and I just kind of want to keep tabs on my recovery and what it was like. And I know that this is uh, not an uncommon problem, but it's not, you know, not everyone has, you know, this problem. Um, so hopefully, you know, anyone else watching can learn, maybe, you know, learn, yeah, learn something from this. So anyways, let's dig into it. Um, I have had uh, ulnar nerve subluxation in both my elbows and it's kind of, I was just born with it. And I noticed it starting in high school where I was doing push-ups with my buddies and uh, I would notice that whenever I would bend down to the floor, there'd be like a violent shift um, because I was under load of my body weight across the medial epicondus, I think it's called or something. Um, but anyways, that was no fun. So I kind of just, you know, didn't do that for a while. I wasn't a big fitness junkie in high school, so I didn't have a whole lot of experience with my subluxating ulnar nerve. So I kind of just ignored it uh, and, you know, went about my life. <clears throat> it wasn't until later in college and uh, further on from there that it started, I started noticing it in my daily life. Um, you know, whenever I was holding my phone to my ear, your obviously your elbow is in a, my elbow was in a compromised position where the ulnar nerve would slide across this little bone right here. And the pressure on it was very, very irritating. And so I could not hold it in that position for a very long period of time without experiencing tingling, numbness, uh, discomfort. So, onwards, I started doing this program called gymnastic strength training, and I have fallen in love with it. I, I, I'm such a, I'm not like a fitness junkie, but I am a gymnastic strength training junkie. Um, and it's, it's primarily body weight exercises, and it's, uh, it's done a wonder for my health and my fitness and my physique, um, even just starting. Um, but the first Kind of progressions that you go through are pretty basic one of them being a push-up i can't do a full push-up with you know my subluxating ulnar nerves um there's just no it's not going to happen so i thought to myself well if i bend my arms you know 90 degrees and no further where there's not chance of that violent shift happening i can just you know make do modify that for myself and continue onwards and that uh didn't work. Um, there was no way I was going to progress that way. I was stuck doing regular push-ups for months. And I was like, why aren't I progressing? It's because I wasn't doing a proper push-up. Um, because I couldn't. So this was enough because I did spend money on this program and I don't like wasting money. So I was like, this is, I got to go see an ortho. And this had been since high school, I guess six, seven years after noticing the problem, I finally went to get it looked at. Stupid. Anyways, I went to the ortho, got x-rays, and he basically said what I had kind of self-diagnosed myself with Google, uh, WebMD, um, that I did indeed have subluxating ulnar nerves in both my elbows, and there was no um, conservative therapy that I could go with. Um, the only way that I could get this fixed was with surgery. And this guy who was talking to me, his name is Dr. Reed. He's a very, um, great surgeon, great guy. Um, but he was very conservative in his approach to getting surgery. He was like, make sure that you want it. Um, just know that if you continue to Go through your life with this unchecked there it will not get better it will only get worse 
and you will risk losing um, strength and feeling in both of your hands, namely in the pinky finger and the ring finger. Um, and, you know, that's not something that I want. Um, I, I'm an actor. I'm, I work out regularly now and, uh, irritated elbows and losing strength and feeling in my hands doesn't go well with those two things or life in general. So I thought to myself, well, yeah, I think I know exactly what I want. I want to get the surgery. And so I did on one of my elbows so far. <clears throat> this is my left cubital tunnel release with anterior transposition surgery. Um, I'm two weeks out of surgery at this point. Um, these, the stitches came out two days ago and they replaced it with these like sticky uh, bands just to hold everything in place and make sure it doesn't rip open again or something. Um, and I can not bend my elbow all the way back. That's about as far as I can go comfortably. Um, and I can extend all the way at this point. However, there is some, uh, not pain, but like soreness um, in my lower tricep because uh, they discovered during the surgery that my the lower part of my tricep was actually wrapped around my ulnar nerve. And so they had to make a small incision to free it, um, which could have been the cause of the subluxation in the first place. Interesting. So, on the other side of this, uh, I am happy with the surgery, and I, w I will do it again. I'm going to get surgery on this arm in, uh, you know, before the year is out, and um, I'll just show you what it looks like on the other elbow. Just... So this is the medial epicondyle, like I said, the, the name of which I don't really know. So the nerve just popped right there and does that every time I bend my arm more than 90 degrees. And it's not fun, it's not comfortable, and it sucks. Um, so, I'm getting it fixed. I would say that it is definitely worth it. I can already tell that the problem is fixed in this elbow. Um, the recovery process, though, is taking, of course, longer than I would like. I'm a very impatient person, and I would like to get back to my training as soon as possible. Um, but I, I'm not going to push myself. I, I, I've already been doing some light mobility exercises, uh, kind of, you know, extending my wrist up and down, moving my arm every which way that I can comfortably, just getting all of the mobility back. Um, in my arm, in my joint. But it is a slow process, unfortunately. And if you're not a patient person, then it's not going to be very fun. Um, the splint, I had to wear a splint uh, for two weeks. No, just under two weeks. Um, and that was honestly the worst pa part about the surgery. Um, mine was kind of bigger than a lot of other people's that I've seen. Uh, videos that people have made some people just have like firm bandaging around the area and just the area some people have splints i had a splint except mine went all the way from up here reaching my shoulder all the way down to my wrist uh wrapped up in medical gauze and whatever um it sucked it was so itchy and it got so sweaty in there and um it was just awful i hated it every second so getting that off was was so nice um and i'm looking forward to getting back in the gym and back to my you know regular uh workouts um so yeah that's just my current state in this recovery process and I hope to continue to record you know my process uh, you know getting back everything in this arm and probably the full process of this arm um, so yeah uh, if this helps you I that's great
and if it doesn't, then oh well. Um, so yeah, have a great day, everybody.